do 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 Now my Pokemon are feeling well. Let's get back on the road. We should probably talk to some people in there, but we'll talk to them on the next visit. Did we talk to this person yet? If you want to be more fashionable, you might want to go to Santa Loon City. Or Santa Lune, maybe. I've been buying the newest fashions at the boutique in Santa Loon City. It looks it looks like a gray shirt. It looks like a gray shirt. Alright, newest fashions. I just started a lock and X. How goes the stream? That's ah, going pretty well so far. Friends and other things. How goes your lock, good sir? Hopefully better than our lock as we've just started and are already, you know, making mistakes. I feel like making bad mistakes. Then again, it's our first lock, so. Yeah, the stream's going pretty decent, Consi all things considered. It took a while to get set up for this one, for sure. We were trying to do uh, black and white, but issues, so. Oh, hey, Bunnelby, I'm the Flatmaster. I just got into Forest. Oh, well, cool, we're in the same rough then, so I'm only a little bit behind you. <laughs> or probably right ahead of you, either way. Uh, but, it's, yeah, it's going pretty well. Basically, for this run, we're naming, we're doing, you know, the classic rules. Also, you know, trying to use some names and voices to make it a little more interesting. Maybe become a little more endeared to Mr. Flatmaster. Bunnelby used agility. Holy sh- he's goddamn running around and shit. Also, I, I curse a lot. Sorry about that. Get tackled, son. You know... Yeah. It sounds like you gave flat master Roshi voice. Like I gave him a what? A master Roshi voice. I I guess in a way I'm trying to like think of who exactly it reminds me of. There's definitely somebody who is like it's taken from the flat master. But it's just like an it's an amalgam of like two voices. And I can't think of it now. That's a beard. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I've been growing it for a while. I think I've been thinking of getting rid of it, actually, so thank you for the compliment. It's, they're just rough to keep, man. Lots and lots of work. I was going to say, don't you dare get rid of all of it, Axe. Don't you dare go back to your freaking baby face, and don't go back to just a freaking porn stash. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. You love the porn stash. <laughs> Dude, no, that looks so horrible. <laughs> it was the sexiest I've ever been. <laughs> If just because I look like I was in a porno. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the closest I've gotten to late in however long. That's not true at all. But you know what? We're going to pretend it is for this stream. The Flatmaster hasn't gotten late in a while either with a voice like that. Bunnelby rose his speed using agility. But I'm going to tackle this son of a bitch. He's going to get tackled. We appreciate the thing. We should probably check out Poketattoo's stream as well when we get the chance. No deaths yet, thank goodness. What will the Flatmaster do? Oh snap, I'm married. I get it when I won't! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I did that in the Flatmaster's voice. Good to, good to hear a tattoo. I, uh... I've been close once or twice. But, uh... Never quite uh, got got through to the finish line there, which is, is probably best for everyone besides me. Not a streamer, just a chatter. Oh shoot! Still, super fun. Appreciate you for coming and chatting with us. Uh, so uh, how many uh, locks have you done so far? Cause don't get married. <laughs> hey man. That's what they say about salary jobs, but people still get them. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention, Flatmaster might die. Uh-oh. Uh Bam! Oh, nope, well. nope, he's good, he's good. We're gonna potion him up. Woo, that's what I get for not paying attention too much for chat. Oh, we almost had a death on the first stream. I'm already on my way to that stage, oof. All right, Flatmaster, let's get you some health. No idea, save Flatmaster. Full health. Alright, Wild Zigzagoon, you're about to get flapped! Oh, he's already on the way. Oh man, Michael, Michael. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Just don't get a salary job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean like 
looking like what my girlfriend has. <laughs> Don't get a salary job. Look, man, it just depends on what you do. Does, does she have training and schooling? Uh, if she does, then having a salary job would be worth it. I mean, she's a manager at a gas station, that's why she's a salary job. Yeah. I just leveled up the Flapmaster. And I'm sorry, it's a ride. Uh, let's see, Siren's from Iowa and I am from Denver. Although soon he is relocating, so that's gonna be fun for him. Yeah, I'm gonna be- Oh, it's a Weedle. Get him, Pidgey! I mean, the Flapmaster! Kick his ass! Also, why sand attack? Useless! Because now, you gotta lower their accuracy. Look, that, that actually might be useful in Nuzlocke. That's why I want to try it, because I feel like Nuzlocke, uh, sorry about them Broncos, I'm a Bill fan myself. That's alright, some years you do well, some years you do bad. The last couple years we did not bad. It's bad. We're gonna switch some Pokemon real quick. Uh... Actually, I could probably do one more Pokemon run with him, so we're gonna go back one. Just run around real quick. There we go. The Flapmaster! Oh, and then you get to hear the voice of Booty Smasher. I'm from PA, right next to Lake Erie. Awesome, that's a, that's a lady, right? Yeah. I, I uh, I'm actually gonna be driving through that state end of February. The Flatmaster just got a critical hit, and hopes that he doesn't get critical hit right here, because that would be a really sad day for the Flatmaster. Oh, thank God. All right, goodbye, enemy Flapper. Snowiest part of USA. And the Flatmaster's level six. That's not bad, you Flappy Flapperson. The thing is, I feel like if I spend too much time grinding, I'm also, like, nullifying the point of the lock. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't know how long I should stay grinding on this. What, what do you think, Poke Tattoo? Like, how long is, should your average grind session in a Nuzlocke area be? Especially considering you can't, like, catch more Pokemon or anything. You're just, like, grinding the same however many you have at that time. We're gonna be a little more careful too, because I feel like uh, I feel like we're gonna start pushing it if we're not careful. Because I keep forgetting about crits too. Gotta be careful for crits and just weird attacks like magnitude and fucking earthquake and all kinds of shit. Your uh, your camera just went out. Uh yeah, it does that after a couple. Gotta switch out the battery. I'm trying to get the continuous power supply, but I gotta go buy it. Pain in the ass. I'm debating on even doing it because I want to upgrade to a better camera pretty soon anyway. A 4K camera is really not that much more expensive. Especially if I get like a webcam or something too, then it's even easier. Alright. Oh, and then I actually have to go in there and reconstitute it. That's gross. Come on. Screen just went. Oh yeah, it's just on a black now. I start or I take to level 10 before I leave Route 1. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea, man. I think we're gonna stick with that as well. Uh, let's make sure you get back on Nuz and then go and to Studio. That, uh, Poke Tattoo said that uh, he takes everything up to level 12 to 15 uh, for the first patch. I did see that one. I thought I might have meant All right, we're gonna hit him with that Ember just because I want to get stuff going.
Yay, one hit from the booty smash. Booty smash, I don't hit him with a bad booty smash. Uh, I will be right back, Axel. I'll get some food. Alrighty. We're gonna sit in that for a second, mostly because I gotta hit some stuff with the camera. Because for whatever reason, when it came back up, it didn't want to show up. But hopefully, this fixes that. I guess we'll see. Never really had trouble with it that much like that before. And again, it's still fairly new, so. There it is. Hey, welcome to me back, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's keep moving around, y'all. We. Sorry, I had to fix some stuff. Uh, now we are fighting a scatterbug. Now my goddamn booty smashing. There's the voice of the booty smash. He likes to smash the booty, and the booty gets smashed. And that's exactly how it happened. I love the sick Gen 6 stars. We were actually joking about the, these ones being a little like off, but I honestly like the designs of the starters. I think it's some of the things that they, uh, like the secondary stages for Gen 6 that I'm not the biggest fan of, but the actual starters like Fro Froki is probably actually one of my favorites of this whole gen. I don't know why though. Um, especially because I didn't get to play too much. Like from here past, and even the one before this, I didn't get to play that much of them. Because I had like gotten my 3DS lost or taken or something at some point. Who knows? Um, unfortunately. And his booty smash it back to hit him with the damn weevil. God, he died of fire. I hit him with my mixtape. Not fair. Yeah, Gen 6 is the only water starter. To be fair, most water starters except... I don't know. I like Squirtle, though, but obviously a fan of the original anime. Always with a fire type. I feel like a, I feel like that's generally people go fire type. Because it's just, for whatever reason, it's considered the cool type. Or the fun type. Um... I like fire type, but I always like went with plant type, mostly because my favorite color is green, and it just seemed like, uh, in some cases, like going plant type back then used to be like easier to get some weird moves or something. You know, you get like solar beam and crap like that. Granted, it's been many, many years. Goodbye, scatterbug, booty smash. Didn't even look at you twice, and you died. I'm not even getting second hits on these guys now. This is gonna be a real long run through. But that's fine, we're gonna get level 10, then start running through the forest, maybe go buy some more potions eventually, if we get some chance, we kinda out of money. I'm a Zard fan, but I always pick fire type because you never get a decent fire type until late. That is very true, actually, Poker Tattoo. You're very correct about that. Uh, thinking about it in retrospect, you really don't get any decent fire start types until several cities in almost all of the games that I can remember. Like, some of the later ones, maybe, you got some different stuff. Or could do trades or other things, but or you could like teach a fire move, but you would not get fire types for sure. Um, that is a really good point. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind as I do more of the run throughs. See, I'm and I'm enjoying this, but I already want to get another Pokemon because I want to get uh, I want to get another name and another voice going as I'm practicing for the bridge series we're trying to make. Like, I already think I'm gonna use Booty Smash for someone. I gotta get an old man voice for one of them, but I don't know who's I wanna use it for. Blah. I also gotta practice two motives, but I didn't end up giving Booty Smash that that voice, which I should have. Alright, whatever. Hit him with Ember. Get him with a Booty Smash of Ember 5. Get him with a mixtape. Yeah, yeah! Dropped that 10 years ago. Right after I got out of prison. For those who don't know, Booty Smash is not black or white, he is yellow. Now let's go go up a little boost match I'm feeling pretty comfortable here. Yeah. Alright, we'll keep the talking to the side and so what do y'all do for work? Uh I'm currently a order selector for like kinda was, kinda am. I'm on like I'm on a different position because of stuff. But don't want to talk about it too much. But I just select uh boxes and stuff for like a warehouse. I also do a bunch of other stuff on the side, like editing and 
audio stuff. So like tomorrow, today, I guess, later today, because I'm on a different schedule. I'm on a night schedule currently. Uh, probably, I think it's three hours from now that guy's coming. He better be coming three hours. I need to make sure my shit's coming in charge and waiting for him too. Uh, but he'll be coming to record some audio stuff and then I'll have to mix that and send it to him, but who, who knows when I'll get to that. Oh my god, course the fall bots. But that's what I do anyway. Oh man, where is this going? So wait, is this a different area then? Can I get another Pokemon after I go into this area? Oh shit! No! I done fucked up Mei Mei Ron. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, Booty Smasher, you gonna have to save the damn day. Oh cool, he's only level 5, he's gonna get wrecked. Get Embered to death, sir. Ah! He's in my veins. He used a growl on me. I think that lowers my attack. I'm pretty sure I don't like that. I think I'm gonna hit him with another fire. Taste my mixtape! Booty smash is gained 51 experience points. And he deserved everyone. Now I'm level 9 booty smashing. Yeah. Yeah. And I defeated this youngster Austin. You should have told me you were that strong. Yeah, no, I don't really think I should have, Austin, or else you'd have been ready for me. I landscape for a living. We do a lot of snow removal this time of year. In spring, we make maple syrup. Well, that sounds interesting, at least the maple syrup. I mean, I'm sure it's. You know, mo like other jobs, just gets tedious and stuff, but because you just probably come in and setting up the taps and then collecting the buckets and then consolidating, I assume. But yeah, I, I've uh, done landscaping a couple different times, snow removal and stuff on different uh, periods of my life, just depending on what I was working or doing. So, you know, digging up holes for trees, edging, cutting grass, uh, all that other good stuff. I mean, I didn't do it too, too much, so wasn't super experienced, but I mean, I ran snow removal and other stuff for a while. Oh, and the wild wheel died. I almost fucked up. You almost <laughs> fucked up, huh? <clears throat> yeah, I got into a trainer battle before I meant to. I just like ran too close and he saw me. He's like, when two trainers eyes meet, they must battle. I'm like, no. He's right, but no! <laughs> no, it was, it was definitely one of those ones I was like, ah, shit. Uh, for work, I am, an, I am a electrician. Ah, that's nice. Alright, let's run around a couple more times for this. So you said 12 for 15. Ah, I, I'd expect that first badge to get to the first. Oh, a fletchling. Oh! Fletchling! Booty Smasher gonna mess you up. Booty Smasher seen your type around here before. Booty Smasher don't like your type. Oh, you growling at Booty Smasher? Booty Smasher will show you. The light! Ba blow Goodbye, Fletchling. You were just a fledgling. Um, I, I, it's, it's a, uh, I guess it's classified as a private company. I do electrical work on, uh, Frostbusters. And Max 6000's Pure Heat. Stuff like that. Booty Smasher needs a little more leveling to, before we go into the forest. Oh, so that was one thing I was going to ask you, Poke Tattoo. So it's every time we get a new section. So once we hit the forest, we should be able to catch a new Pokemon, right? Booty Smash is using Ember. Fire! Alright, Booty Smash, we need to get to level 10. If 
flat master we need to probably get to level seven because if you can't have flat master go too high or else he'll just kill everything he touches all right i kind of figured it was but i wanted to make sure i want to get people all people starting to come in and already mad at me because i don't know what version i'm playing because i'm dumb <laughs> saying that because earlier there was a person who came in and pointed out that you're playing Pokemon X or Y. I mean, it definitely was. I mean, he's right. I just, I want to post that meme. I've been seeing it all week. Just the crunk meme where it's on the <laughs> devil on his shoulder. It's like, no, no. He's he's technically right. It's like, it's like, he's right, but he just didn't have to be a dick about it. He wasn't a dick about it either. I don't technically feel like. It's just like, no, why was it in cool. there? Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. God damn it, Booty Smasher. Finish them. Oh, God. Oh, pff. I turned right, and then the, the death was on me. Oh, no, a Fletchling. It's a shame you didn't get a Fletchling, because Fletchlings are actually strong. I would have preferred it just because it's new. All right, Booty Smasher going to have to kill this level two Fletchling. This is sad. Goodbye, Fletchling. Yeah, and actually, because... Just because looking at the levels of these and the way they're going up and down, I think I'm not even going to level Flatmaster anymore. Because if I... I don't want to hit the first thing we go in and then kill it and not be able to catch a new Pokemon. Uh... Oh, shit. The real question is, should we buy more potions? Probably, especially because we got another Pokeball from the, that one jerk. I love that they uh, made it so the Poke Center knows your Pokemon are fully healed and they don't let you do it. <laughs> that's a that's one big innovation I will say. That's a that's a monumental landmark. And I'm 31 and have found out that some people have no sense of chill. Yeah, most people seem to be okay but there are some people out there with no chill cough michael i have chill what are you talking about if you mean lord chilled from the episode of bardock special of <laughs> 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 all right i'm broke now let's get the fuck out of here <laughs> wait i didn't check can i run in the store Let's see what this is called. Aqu Aquacord Town. Water and civilization and harmony. It's If it's a lock, buy as many potions as you can. All right. Uh, it's like, I've seen like some people uh, having extra rules of like limited potion or Pokemon and shit use. And I'm just like, how the... F like, I guess you can definitely do it. And it does actually make the it harder and kind of funner in some ways. But like... At a certain point, I'm like, I, I need potions to survive. Like, to beat the Elite Four, you're either stupid overpowered or you have potions. There's no f in between. And even then, sometimes you need to be both. Ooh, remind me to switch out, uh. Booty Smasher before we get into the forest, Michael. Hey, you got the level 10. Cool, I could actually do it now if I wanted. But I'm actually leaving him in to kill shit until we get to the forest. Mostly so, uh, I'm gonna post something pretty long in chat just because I was curious about it. Oh, of course, there's a 500 character limit. Duh. Alright, well, Santa Lune Forest ahead. We've already beaten this guy and they don't reset. Time to get in some practice with the wild Pokemon in the tall grass. Oh, better heal up my Pokemon first. Alright, Pokemon, let's switch you guys over. Flatmaster, you're responsible for getting us a new Pokemon. If you fuck this up... Yeah, those are the basic rules. So, yeah. Yeah, that's basically what I did, too. I've just been seeing them, and I didn't know if there was a general consensus besides those four 
for the community, especially because it's been so long well, since the original run was done. Oh, that reminds me, I should save the game. I really hope this is saving. <laughs> would you like to save? Yes, I would like to save it. Yay! But yeah, and I mean, we have them up there, as you can see on the, the left or the right or whatever, the rules for the Nuzlocke. You're dead, you're dead. If your Pokemon faints, release it. Only catch the first encounter Pokemon in each area. Blackout equals death, no traded Pokemon. The only one I forgot to put was uh, name all Pokemon, but I, you know, I name all my Pokemon anyway, every playthrough pretty much. Oh, random people. Wait up, let's walk together. I hate you so much. I feel like something exciting will happen if I stay by you. Yeah, your untimely death. <laughs> Bitch, you really gonna follow me? All right. No idea. Found a potion. Sweet. Definitely need that. All right, let's go deeper into the forest before we actually start. Wait, is this a sign? Yeah, it's a sign. Let's say. Keep an eye out for dropped items. Oh, cool. All right. Well, I see a bunch of shit over. Oh shit. Oh, he moves? They move now? Yeah. I guess they used to as well, some of them. Oh, I can't get to that one unless I go through. There's some people over there. I want to get further in, though. Before I, uh... Damn, I see a lot of drop stuff. I just kind of want to get a little bit of a more look at it to see how far I can get in. Get a better Pokemon. Oh, sh... You might just have to suck it up and uh I might get yourself a, a caterpillar or a weedle whatever you run into first i might run by them get away from them uh bitch no one second i don't know it's 8 30 time to roll one up hey i feel that man Matter of fact, it might be time for dab. 